Mom? Yes, you did, Gavin. Yeah. <laughs> Mom? Mom, see, I made my coffee machine model. <laughs> Mom, do you know why they call it Crazy Glow? No, I don't. Because the guy that invented it didn't patent it, got no money, and the grief drove him insane. And instead of holding his arms with a straitjacket, they held his arms with crazy glue. His own crazy glue. On a much kinder note... Gavin, will you get that, please? I'll get it. Do you know this kid at school, Terpig Herte? Well, I'll tell the story anyway. His brother is only three and has his own credit card. <laughs> Boy, is he ever popular. One day, as we walked by his Kadoo dealership, I noticed Taylor. Oh, hello. <laughs> Kevin, I might be a little bit later than I originally thought. All okay, right. so, uh, oh, good, you're here. Come on in. Uh, now, Mrs. Penarowski couldn't make it tonight, so this is her daughter. She'll be watching you instead. Hi, I'm Natalie. Now, there's pop in the fridge and chips and cookies and candy in the cupboards. Help yourself. Gavin can't have any. <laughs> Shall we? Oh, my God, a hearse. <gasps> hello, Gavin. Hello. This kid at school. This kid at school what? You smell good, hey? <laughs> Thank you very much. What time do you go to bed? I don't. I've been going to school on the night shift. I just got home. Then why are you wearing pajamas? Because it's night school, silly. <laughs> Let's do something fun. I'll do your taxes if you have 20 minutes. Let's watch TV. No. TV rots your brain like it's crack cocaine. You know... I heard somewhere once about a guy who watched the Weather Channel for 72 hours straight, and he went insane. How fascinating. <laughs> Just like the guy who invented crazy glue. You know about him? Yes. Do you? Yes. <laughs> Natalie! Vito! Hey! Did you have trouble finding the place? Uh, no, I followed my heart. And your directions helped. Hello? Hey, what's with the kid? You said he'd be in bed by now. We were talking. We hit it off. Yeah, whatever. Come on, baby. Locusts? Locusts are only tough when they're in groups, you know. Radical dude. When they're alone, they're virtual cowards. Really? Yeah. Do you know what happens when a science teacher falls and hits his head on the curb? No, what? He becomes a janitor. <laughs> W would you would you park it, chipmunk cheeks? Vito, what? I don't have chipmunk cheeks. Although I do know a boy who was raised by squirrels. Oh, yes, and they wouldn't let him go to school until they got his rabies shots. That's the story exactly. Yes, baby. I'm hurting, you know. And I'm talking, you know. Yeah. There's this girl at work. Well, actually, she really doesn't work. She sort of just sits there. But she has the most amazing thumb. Wow, was it burlap? Hey... Are you going to go on about that dumb thumb story again? I am? Okay, then I'm out of here. You know, you're not the only babysitter around. These townhouses are full of them. Fine. Yeah, well, fine. Fine. Fine, you. Fine. Well, her thumb has glowed ever since she was hit by lightning. Wow. So anyway, one day we were out hitchhiking. <laughs> We are on our way to see the largest ball of twine in the world. You know, it stands 20 feet high, and it weighs about... Three and a half tons. Yes, exactly. Hey, we can see it on our honeymoon. Oh, that reminds me. I had a friend... <clears throat> I asked you a question. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. Fine. Now, Gavin, do you believe that if you were to inflate a dog with helium that you could float it on the end of a string. I do. Then you may now kiss the bride. Now we'll kiss forever. Gavin.
Gavin, where's the remote? Gavin, I asked for the remote. Gavin, where's the remote? <laughs>